Hello everybody, my name is Strix, and today I'm actually on a previous backup of my server. As you can see, there's no creeper farm, no pigment farm, none of that stuff. And I'll be showing you guys how to reset the nether. Now with a new update, you're going to have to either load new chunks or you're going to have to reset the nether. So if you have a really big nether, then it might be hard to make new chunks, especially if you stay towards the middle of your generated chunks. So you are going to have to either do this or adventure out more so as you can see the new mobs and stuff are spawning i see like the new pigment type of guys obviously gas still spawning. you get the same music but you do not get any of the new blocks like basalt so i'll show you guys how to completely reset your nether first thing i'm going to do is go back from go back to the overworld so i don't actually get stuck somewhere first thing i want to do is obviously create a backup of the world. This world is actually really big. Holy cow, it's like 100 megabytes. I'm just gonna copy the world here so that you don't break anything, obviously. And you can always have a backup of your original stuff if you need it. Anyways, now you want to close out of Minecraft and open up MCC Tool Chest. This is the PE version and not the normal version. So I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys want to go ahead and download it for yourself anyways what you want to do is you want to open up your world in this case i'm just doing the copied world i'm not going to do the original and you want to go through all of these nether chunks these are actually the chunks that you have open or well, loaded actually just every single chunk you just want to delete all so just go through every single chunk area and delete them so that shouldn't be all that bad. Obviously, if you have more chunks of than I do, you're gonna have more of those. But I had a pretty big nether, and that's how many chunks I had. Anyways, now what you want to do is click the floppy disk to save, and exit out. Now we just hop back onto Minecraft. As you saw, I did it to my copied world. And let's go ahead and generate it. Alright, so as you saw, I did go through this portal before, and we'll do that again. Alright, so I did just fall off, but as you saw, it spawned at the same spot, but we're obviously getting the new items spawning. There goes my totem. But as you can see, the world is actually regenerating, so you're getting all the new bombs. I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but on most worlds it should spawn the netherrack biomes first but as you can see all the new guys they're all spawning new chunks being loaded and that's how you reset the nether guys so i'm pretty sure it's very similar terrain to what you started with it's just that you're getting the new biomes and all so very very nice stuff these guys are really annoying holy cow Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this, um, just ask them in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.